I had the pleasure over the last three years of leading the revision of the North American Waterfowl Management Plan on behalf of the plan committee. We really took pains to get extensive consultations from the waterfowl management community to get feedback on what they thought was important for the future waterfowl management and where this plan should go in the future. We undertook a series of 13 different workshops all over the U.S. and Canada. We had great participation, great energy, and we really got a lot of valuable information that fed back into that plan when it came time to revise it. Seven recommendations emerged in the North American Plan Revision. Three of those are especially important and relevant in, in the action plan and really need to be addressed in the couple of years ahead of us. One is populations and habitat and the need to have healthy populations linked with sustainable habitat conservation. Two has to do with people and the need to bring into our fold the public at large so they can support our conservation work, but bring back and kind of build back our hunter support base, which has always been foundational to our work. Three has to do with integrating the different streams of waterfowl management so we're effective and efficient and relevant going forward. With regards to populations and habitat, the joint ventures have always focused on habitat conservation and now the recommendation is to go back and look at the nature of, of the habitat that's been conserved. Is it secure for the long term? Is it enough to adequately sustain the populations that we need going into the future? And on the population side, are the population objectives relevant now? Given changes in carrying capacity, given the desires of the public at large, we need to go back and revisit those population objectives that have been so important in the North American plan. The second recommendation, dealing with people, addresses the need to embrace not only the public at large so that they are supportive of our conservation work, but also the hunters, and it's different strategies. The hunters need to know that we're addressing their needs in terms of regulations, in terms of access and places to hunt, and all of the things that bear on hunter recruitment and retention. Those are all important for the future of waterfowl management. When it comes to the public at large, we know that they care about the ecological benefits that come from our conservation work. What we need to do is translate that caring into active support of conservation. The third recommendation that deals with integration is really important if we're going to move our management and our conservation ahead into the next decades. We have to get better at linking population actions with habitat conservation with our work with people. And we need to link those together much more formally than we are now so that we can be efficient and effective and relevant in the decades ahead. During the development of the plan and then the action plan discussions, we had people ask us, well, how are you going to do this? How are you going to integrate waterfowl management? And the answer is, we aren't going to do it ourselves. It's going to take everybody in the community. And certainly the NAWAMP Science Support Team, the Flyways and the Flyway Councils, the Human Dimension Working Groups, those are all going to be important support groups. But in the end, it's going to take all of us working together. And that's the beauty of the North American plan. That's why it's always been so successful, and that's why it'll succeed again. The action plan is intended to provide a roadmap for the future, but it doesn't have all the answers. There's going to be a lot of work to be done, there's going to be discoveries made, some, some dead ends encountered. The important thing is it'll be a living document, knowing that we're going to make continual improvements and over time new versions will come out and we'll adapt and move forward as a community. I remember 1986 when the original plan was being drafted and thinking, boy, this really is kind of the last chance for waterfowl, that if we don't get this right, it may be the end of these populations, at least at, at huntable levels. Now I look and, and I see populations are high, but you know, I think we faced challenges that are every bit as, as dire and, and immediate as we did back in 86, and, but they're different. There are people disconnected from nature, there's a public that doesn't necessarily want to invest in conservation, there are economic challenges, and there are environmental challenges. So we really have to get this right, I think, because the challenges this time around are every bit as dire and every bit as, as important to address. Take the time to read the documents, get involved, either through flyway councils, joint ventures, or your agencies. It's important that everyone get engaged.